Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to work with the VP Rentals Categories List widget. We showcase this widget in our Hawaii demo. This is the widget. And next I will show how to add it in a page using Elementor plugin. The first step is to edit the page with Elementor. I will add a new column. And here I will add the categories list widget. To make the section show well, I will add a heading widget first. I will change the text here. And now I will look for the categories list widget. You will find it under VP Rentals widgets. And with drag and drop, I will place it under the heading. The widget will work with listing categories, so here, in the first field, you will be able to select the categories that you wish to display on front end. I will select random categories, just to show how they can be selected and how they will look on front end. I will set four categories per row. I will select eight categories and according to the number of categories per row that I set above, I will have two rows. The widget has two design types. This is type one and this is type two. I will leave it to type two. I will save my changes. And now I will need to manually upload an image for each category used in the widget. For that, I will need to go to admin and in listings, you will find all listing categories. Categories, what do you rent, city, neighborhood, area, feature and amenities and property status, but only categories, what do you rent, city and neighborhood, area can be used with the widget. So I will go to categories and I will start uploading the images for each category used in the widget. You can see that I have apartment, so I will edit apartment. I will press upload image button. I will select an image from my device. I will press insert into post and press update. Next, I will go to what do you rent? I used entire home in the widget. You can see it here. The previous steps will apply for each category used in the widget. So I will press upload image, select files. I will select an image from my device. I will press insert into post and update. Since the steps will be the same for each category, I will upload the images of the record. I edit all images. I will refresh the page. The images show correctly. Next, I will make some style settings to make the widget show better. I will go to style and here I will change the margin button and I will add a border radius value. You have more options here. You can change the item size. Also in style, you can change style settings for text. You can change font size. You will see that here it will apply. You can make changes for the listing text. You can change title color or listing words color. Also for the images used in the widget, you can change overlay background color and overlay background color hover. I will also change the formatting for the heading words. So I will change color, text settings, I will add more space between this section and the header. For that, I will change column settings. I will add a padding here and here. And now I will save the changes made. This is how the widget will show on front end. If you will press any categories, you will be redirected to a page where you will see all the listings added under that category. Going back to the main page, this is categories list type two. I will switch to type one to show how this type will show as well. This is how it will show on front end. 
This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.